Oh, yeah. Please send help. Scorpions. You either love them or hate them. But regardless of how you feel about them, they're not going anywhere. Except for these ones. They look like they might be going to a rave. These predatory arachnids are the pictures of menace. They have sharp, snapping pincers, a venomous tail stinger, and that creepy, crawly vibe that creatures with eight legs specialize in. But all danger aside, you've got to admit these glow-in-the-dark scorpions are pretty, pretty cool. So why do some scorpions glow in the dark? How do they get their glow on? Asking for a friend. And are they deadly to humans? Scorpions can be found all over the world except in one place, Antarctica. This is because they prefer hot, arid climates like deserts and shrublands. They mostly eat bugs, and they can slow down their metabolism when food becomes scarce. This minimizes their oxygen consumption, which allows them to survive on only one insect per year. Geez, I can't even imagine surviving on one meal per day, let alone one per year. According to National Geographic, some researchers have experimented with freezing a scorpion overnight. The next day, they thawed it in the sun. Can you guess what happened to the scorpion? If you guess that it died, you're wrong. It simply defrosted and skittered off. They're resilient little buggers. Scorpions are so resilient that they were around before the dinosaurs, and they can live up to 25 years in captivity. But why do some of these arachnids glow in the dark? Unfortunately, nobody knows for sure, but there are theories. In 2020, researchers at the American Chemical Society tested the molten exoskeletons of these fluorescent arachnids and discovered something interesting. Previously, we only knew about two fluorescent chemical compounds that made up the glowing scorpion exoskeleton. But the researchers found a new one called phthalate ester. In other organisms, this compound protected them from fungus and parasites, so it may benefit scorpions the same way. Other theories propose that fluorescence helps them find each other in the moonlight, especially for mating. It may protect them from UV rays, like sunscreen. There are even theories that suggest their enchanting glow may confuse their prey. And Discover Magazine published an article suggesting that scorpions convert ultraviolet starlight and moonlight into their iconic glowing blue-green hue. It could make their bodies absorbent light collectors, kind of like solar panels. Just imagine if people could do that. We probably wouldn't need electricity. So you're probably still wondering, can these things kill me? The answer is yes and no. While there are about 2,000 species of scorpions, only around 40 of those species could potentially kill a human. I still don't like those odds. And each species has a unique venom that is specific to certain kinds of prey. So even though the odds of you coming across a deadly scorpion are slim, when you're in the wild, it's best to admire them from afar. There are some uh, special individuals who keep these stinging crawlers as pets, though. I say, to each their own. And just stay away from me. Speaking of scary pets, some people keep even crazier creatures at home, like tigers, skunks, and crocodiles. Want to see more? Check out our video about exotic animals that have been domesticated. Glowing in the dark and slowing their metabolisms is what scorpions do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.